Hey everyone, welcome to my craft room. So I thought I'd give you a little tour. I just filmed the whole thing and, and realized I wasn't filming. Um, so I have to start over. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna start by walking out so I can walk back in and you can kind of see like just a wide view of this room. And you'll have to excuse my nasal breathing. I've got myself a sinus infection. So that's no fun. So I'm gonna sit down and kind of go through stuff with you guys. Um, I think we'll start over here. So over here I've got this shelf, let me back out of it. Let's move this guy. Got some foils down there, never mind those. So my storage goes all the way up. It comes down. <laughs> and I've got this real rolly, rolly cart. And then so here I've got my all my distressed mica stains. I've got my sunset stamps positively saturated. I've got some specialty cardstock and stuff like that here. And then over here in this homemade shelf that I uh, salvaged a drawer, I've got some Catherine Puller inks and miscellaneous. Up here, I have all these rubber mats, some incense, nothing in that box, labeler, small electronics, uh, let's see, tonic, Sizzix, Tim Holtz florals, a bucket full of stuff, a painting my grandma did. Uh, here I've got ephemera, my cream markers. Mm, I've got buttons in that Chinese box. I've got miscellaneous in this wooden, antique wooden drawers. I've got my neutral color pencils and my uh, Posca pens. Little drawing that Ryan um, Swift did and sent to me. Little guy, it's an old ashtray. Then I keep my um, stencils in that thing. And then over here, let me move stuff. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Over here are my distressed paints and some sparkly pens. <sighs> Let's see, I've got Simon Hurley stuff here. I've got my um, <sighs> zig markers. I've got black mirror paper, other paper. Tim Holtz ephemera. I've got all my pencils and stuff. I've got brushos and more distress paints. I've got my Ohuhu markers here and my Arteza markers. Here's my little alcohol ink shelf. And then I have stamps and these green things that I got from Joanne for three bucks. So there's all those shelves down here. I've got my scan and cut. Scan is cut stuff, miscellaneous stamps. Okay, and then here I've got my thread, uh, Fibber McGee miscellaneous, all Christmas stuff right here. Um, then I've got this, these shelf, these cupboards here that I have all my, well, a lot of my dies on. And then there's back to this little thing. So there's kind of that side of the room. I'm gonna come over here to this side of the room, try and keep my fingers out of the way. And I've got this little Raleigh cart that I keep, you know, current projects on and stuff I need to do, dumb things you need to do. Um, and then just stuff, trust me. Most of this room is just stuff. Um, these are uh, like little metal embellishments. These are, um, these are my Tim Holtz dies for like the male dies and all those dies that came out last year. I don't know why that's on there. Anyway, they're on magnet magnets. Then got all these little drawers labeled. So here's all my lunar and solar paste. Here's some of my spray stains and oxides that won't fit anywhere else. My Catherine Puller minis. All my interactive stuff is all together in one place. So I've got my one light, my easy lights, my Wingy boings. I think I have a halo light in here too. Yeah, I do. Halo light, my Tim Holtz lights. 
all the lights. And next one down, I have miscellaneous ephemera. And that's totally full. Here I have all my film, um, fun foam stuff. Um, here I've got all my extra other Tim Holtz ephemera, <laughs> not all, but some of it. In this drawer, I've got some specialty papers that are like mirror cardstock and stuff like this. This one is more specialty papers, like music papers and stuff. This one is Fibber McGee miscellaneous. Come over to the next one. Yeah, dog's having a fit. One moment. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. Um, this is my like my little clear station, my Versamark ink, uh, Versamark, and my Wow embossing powder. Um, stuff like that. Then this little holder has my little teas in it that I collect from, um, mostly from Trinity Stamps. Um, little journal I'm working on for Bitty Penny that I haven't picked up. Shame on me. Okay, and then in this drawer I've got all my Ranger embossing powders, my Brutus Monroe, and my um, Emerald Creek. I keep these separate uh, from my wow and then here I've got all kinds of different foam tapes I don't even know what I did with my scrapbook.com three rolls of foam tape I don't even know and then um, double-sided tapes and then we've got ribbon strings and that and here we've got some more some embellishments these are just a dent of what I have, <laughs> you know, like little jewels and little clay bits and stuff like that. Here I've got masking equipment. Here I've got sticky pads like my Altenew one and then just, you know, miscellaneous small pieces of my silicone mats. Here I've got tools. So miscellaneous tools. Here I've got office supplies. Here I've got um, specialty paper that is, let's get my ugly feet out of there, uh, vellum and S tape, stuff like that. Okay, coming over here. This shelf here is more homemade shelving um, coupled with regular shelving. We picked up that little shelf at a um, thrift store, that little um, sort of apothecary type shelf. And then the, I got that green shelf at Walmart, and then those are Joanne boxes. And then this is um, one of those little roundy round things from Joanne. Um, then you see I've got my mini Empress, and then I've got my Vagabond, and stuff, just stuff, you know? And then there's more stuff over here, stuff. Okay, there's my iPad, and this little ball doesn't really go here. I moved it off of here so I could show you. I've got my embossing powders, more brushes, more brushes. Um, down here I have uh, my Stampin' Up trimmer, my Swing Line trimmer, or guillotine, my one of my, uh, what's that company, Fisker's trimmers. Uh, my Tim Holtz trimmer, and then all my small guillotine trimmers are in this bottom drawer here. And these are magnets. I don't know why I put them there. And then all of my stamp platforms are in here, along with a crochet hook. Um, here I've got Nubo drops and stuff like that. In this, I don't know what I have in this drawer. Stuff, metallic papers. Um, then I've got buttons and things like that in these containers. All right, so moving over to my desk. Um, here's my, let me get back up here a little more so you can see. There's my lights. I usually have them both on, all four of them, and it gets hot. <laughs> Trust me on that. I've got my Mac there where I um, set up my lives. And then I've got two more of these little rolly carts that I got from my old job, actually at Verizon. Each one of us had one of those. And then on this desk, we've got, um, these are where I keep like papers, like my mixed media paper, stuff like that. And, 
you know, stuff that I need to grab quickly. And then there's my glues, mint tape, Gina K brushes, pencils and stuff like that. My uh, Lavinia brushes. These are little Simon Says Stamp Pouncers. Um, this thing you're looking at here is one of my filming arms. So if I'm trying to take a side view. Um, my Tim Holtz stuff, stamps. Uh, I've got two stadium storage full of um, distress based spray stains and then this old thing. Um, uh, let's see. I've got another one of those roundy thingies here. And then another one of those scrapbook.com ones here. Um, my Ot light, which bugs me sometimes because all you have to do is lightly tap it and it turns off. Um, little container with my small um, acrylic blocks and then uh, like a napkin holder type thing for my large ac acrylic blocks. And then moving over here to this storage, got Tim Holtz and other frequently used stamps here. I've got my um, photo albums here that the 12 by 12 that hold my papers for taking pictures. And here I've got card bases, uh, plastic bags and crap like that. Then I've got my uh, backgrounds and regular papers and all my punches that I frequently use. More miscellaneous, next shelf up, I've got my Distress Inks minis, my Magic Mushrooms, my Archival Inks, and my um, Archival Distress Inks. Down here, I've got my Pouncers. It's hard to find places to put all this stuff. Um, so next shelf up, I've got more Pouncers. I've got my Simon Hurley Inks. And then I put all these little thingies in this thing because they fit. So I just grab them out when I need them where my distress oxides are. So these are, the bottom ones are ink and the top ones are oxide. And then more oxides, my cloud nine inks. So my Gina K inks, I mostly have minis. And then my Versafine, Claire inks, my Lavinia inks. So everything's at arm's reach and I end up using it. Up here are my um, clear embossing, um, embossing glaze, my Tim Holtz embossing glaze, and then my Gina K minis, and then these two have my wow. Now I've got more back here, that's my distress crayons, and this is more washi tape. And I've got my whole line of washi tape up top from left to right. I've got Tim Holtz papers, I've got, um, oops, get your finger out of there. I've got stamps that I frequently use and aren't living in a home. I've got my Tim Holtz stencils and then I've got all those Christmas, that, all that stuff is Christmas stamps. So that won't live there forever. It gets put away into a closet. Okay, so, so you saw those are some of my um, hot oils. They're just like in one of those little 12 by 12 boxes. They're, they're gonna get wrapped up like my hot oils are here. I just haven't done it yet. So this is my hot foil station. And then down here is my toner foil station. Up here, I've got my, all of my Tim Holtz Sizzix dies. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. And then these are other miscellaneous dies back here. I've got all of my embossing folders here. I've got all of my foiling plates here. So I don't have a, a big ton of foiling plates. And then we walk over here, I've got this side of this shelf and I've got a bunch more dies on magnets there. Those are all my Tim Holtz Christmas stamps. Over here, I've got my sewing machine and it's on a little rolly cart. So, you know, I can move it to wherever I want to. That's my air conditioner, nothing, nothing to see here. Um, we've got rags, we've got um, wax seals, we've got my, um, uh, art stack stuff, 
miscellaneous, all my Technique Junkie stamps, my Blue Knight and my Visible Image and my um, Local King and my Unity stamps in that one. I've got just miscellaneous little stuff in here. Um, these are all my Lavinia stamps. These are all my Kendall's Card Challenge Christmas cards. More miscellaneous. Paint and other stupid junk. More paint and other stupid junk. I mean, I've got a lot of crud. Um, so let's see. Back there uh, is mostly stuff I can't reach, so I'm not worried about it. It's kind of a, another Fedber McGee area. And then on this TV shelf, I've got on the top, I've got my junk journals. Um, I've got my glues. I've got my happy mail that people have given me. I've got my happy cat or my lucky cat. Um, here I've got my Simon Hurley stamps and more miscellaneous. And then even more miscellaneous down here. And down there is a shelf that I can't get to unless I move this, which is my junk journal cart. So it's got everything that I need for a junk journal. And more papers. I don't have any place else to put. <laughs> These are... This is all of my toner foil stuff. <sighs> Let's see. What did I miss? More miscellaneous. There's my giveaway Gina K Fuse that's going to get given away once I hit 3,000 subscribers. Um, this is just my personal computer space. Um... Well, guys, I think that's it. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below, and I'm happy to try to answer. Um, let's back on out of here. Let's move this thing. Mostly, having movable storage is a wonderful thing. All right. And out we go. Thanks for hanging out in my craft space. If you like this video, please... Give me a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.